Hi everyone, my name is Hussain and in this video we are going to talk about an introduction to Azure policy. I am going to record a lot of videos about many Azure policies, along with other cloud design patterns and serverless videos that I have already in my channel. If you are interested to view these videos, go ahead and check my channel. Also make sure to click on the subscribe button to get notified about the future videos. And for the like button, it's totally up to you. Now let's see what is Azure policy. I want you to think of Azure policy as a way to enforce organizational standards. Let's assume that you want to enforce encryption for all databases you have in your subscription, or you want to make sure that your functions app or logic apps are using HTTPS traffic in their communication, or you want to make sure that the developers are provisioning Azure resources in certain regions in your subscriptions. These are the different kind of organizational standards that the Azure policy will help you to enforce in your organization. Also, Azure policy helps you to assess the compliance at a different level of granularity. As you may already know, some industries like finance or health have requirements to keep the data within the country's borders. And if you are using the right Azure policy, you will be able to tell whether you are compliant with that requirements or not. Also, Azure policy helps you to evaluate the overall state of your environment, and simply Azure policy is a JSON file. And there are two kinds of policies, built-in policy and custom policy. For the built-in policy, you can use them straight away out of the box, and for the custom policy, you need to define them yourself. Now let's see when the policy is evaluated. But before we get into that, we usually will have some Azure policies and you will have your Azure subscriptions. And you need to assign some Azure policies to your Azure subscriptions in order to be effective. After that assignment, Azure policies is going to be evaluated at different times to make sure that all resources in the assigned Azure subscription are compliant with the selected Azure policy. So the policy is going to be evaluated when the resource is being created or updated or deleted or when a policy is assigned to a new subscription for the first time, or when a policy that's already assigned to a subscription has been updated, or during the standard compliance evaluation cycle, which usually occurs every 24 hours. Now let's see what are the different responses to the policy evaluation. Either it's going to deny the resource from creation if it's not compliant with a certain policy, or it's going to just log the action that the resource is not compliant, or it will alter the resource before the change or after the change, or it's going to deploy the resource if it's compliant with the policy. Now we are coming to the end of this video. That was a quick introduction about Azure policy. And in the upcoming videos, we are going to dive deep into different kind of Azure policies we can use. Thanks for watching.